American politicians and international human rights activists express concern over a law that bans sending anti-North Korea leaflets to the regime. South Korean government argued such activity endangers the lives of its citizens. Yoon Jung-min has the full story. U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Stephen Began has reportedly expressed concern over South Korea's law to ban the practice of floating balloons with anti-regime leaflets into North Korea. An article by the Washington Post said Began privately conveyed the Trump administration's concerns about the legislation during his trip to Seoul last week. The law, which was passed at the National Assembly early this week, stipulates punishing those who send the leaflets with up to three years in prison or a fine of up to 27,000 U.S. dollars. The VOA reported Friday that the bipartisan Tom Lantos Human Rights Commission at the U.S. Congress is going to convene a hearing on the issue when the new session begins in January. And this week, U.N. Special Rapporteur Thomas Ojea Quintana said he hopes Seoul reconsiders the legislation before it goes into effect, citing freedom of expression. Seoul's Unification Ministry was quick to respond to the U.N. Rapporteur's remarks, saying the law was amended through a democratic procedure at the National Assembly that represents the consensus of public opinion. Seoul's Vice Foreign Minister Choi jong won said in a radio interview on Friday that the amendment was the least lawmakers could do to protect the lives of 1.2 million South Koreans living near the border. He mentioned an incident in 2014 when North Korea fired at balloons which had been released by a group of North Korean defectors in Gyeonggi-do province. On Thursday, Seoul's Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa said in an interview with CNN that freedom of expression can be limited if it poses a threat to people's lives, citing the UN International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. Yoon Jung-min, Arirang News.